Everybody, I'm LJ Green Tigers. Welcome to my channel. We are here to play yet another game for the channel. Uh, I know you're probably a little shocked, but I I just want to play a bunch of games. I'm having fun with the ones I'm already playing and I want to start a new one. And this one's called, I believe, sorry if I pronounce it wrong, but Otagi Myth of Demons. I've never played this game before, like always on my channel, I always play games that I've never played, which is basically everything. And so I'm going to be playing this game, and... Uh-oh. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so I've never played this. I hope it does well. Um, please pop five that subscribe button. Scratch that like or on the comments. Let me know what you think. Do Have you played this game? Because it really does help me out when you do all those things. And plus, bonuses to those who... <laughs> have said, yeah, this game is awesome because I'm looking forward to a great game and I hope it's true. So let's get started and bear with me that this is really my first time playing this. I've never, I've had this game for a while in my collection, like all my games. And so we're just going to get started. Oh, and I'm literally playing it on the original Xbox. I have a complete box. I have the manual next to me in case I need it and everything. So... I'm kind of excited, a little bit nervous, because it's a new game, but we'll see how this goes. For a thousand years, the Imperial Court had ruled. But the seal was broken, and its days of glory drew to a rapid close. Clouds gathered overhead, and the land was engulfed in a perpetual darkness. The light of neither star nor moon could pierce the night, and a giant tempest arose from the eerie blackness to level all that stood before it. When the winds had passed, all that remained was a court in ruins and a city devoid of all life. I like the music so far. <laughs> Raiko. Is that me? You of the clan who presides over the death of men. Awaken. Your spirit lies in the realm between life and death. Hmm. You have brought much death to the world. You are unclean. Come, I shall grant you my power, and with it, my blessing. Raiko, use your powers to rid this land of the demons that plague it. Let me check something real quick. Well, I have inverted controls. Up is down and down is up. That's gonna be confusing. Alright. Okay, so I can jump. There's an attack. Are you an enemy? 
Oh, I can double jump. If wounded, fear not. Your body will heal itself. Okay. This too is part of the power that I have bestowed upon you. But be warned, should your magic power ever be depleted. The music is so cool right now. Your corporeal body shall fade into dust. Left or right? What's over here? Be always mindful of this. An enemy. Oh snap. What's going on? Evil birdies. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh look at that trying to get behind me. Oh whoa, what was that? Oh, this is like so fun. I'm like in the air and doing combos. Oh, this is a fun game so far. You can probably hear my clicking on my controller. <laughs> Cause it's it's the proof that I'm playing this on the actual console itself. I do have an Xbox. I don't like emulators, it's not my style. I'd rather play the game for real. I'd rather own the game too, since I'm a collector. And I've hardly ever played any games. I never got to grow up with games w as a kid. My parents were kind of against gaming, and so I never played games growing up like most kids did. If anything, I went to my friend's house and played a bunch of games. You could cut down trees? I don't know if that does anything. Give me some wood! Is this rust? <laughs> or seven days to die? <laughs> um, no, I never grow, grew up with games, but I always went to friends' houses who had games. I don't know if you're supposed to destroy these, but I'm going to. And I remember one of my best friends had a uh, PS2, and we played a Gran Turismo game and Dance Dance Revolution and a couple other games. I don't really remember the titles because I didn't know games back then. And that was like in sixth grade. Um, before that, in elementary school, I went to a friend's, I think it was her birthday party, and her brother owned an N64, and this was like fourth grade. And I remember I played Donkey Kong for the N64, and I was so, I was like, can we play this the whole time? Of course, my parents showed up early and we left, but I was like, can I just spend the night at your house and play this game? <laughs> play, play video games? <laughs> okay, we don't want to bring in the other guys. Come on. Follow me! So right is left and left is right as well. That's really confusing. Luckily, the camera is actually pretty decent. You I don't have to worry. Exercise. The like, demons you vanquished were from beyond the Great Seal. For one thousand years have they sought to infest this world. Some have learned the secrets of immortality. But with your great powers, I know you shall prevail. Man, that violinist is very powerful in, the, in his or her music. My level has risen. Oh. Objects destroyed? Wait. A D means bad, right? So I shouldn't have destroyed the objects? Hmm. Info. What's the info do? Level 2 times played 1, experience 4,000, level 2, 40, gamble damage. Alright. I like the, the design of the artwork. That looks pretty cool. 
to equip items in the shop. Cleared stages. Ah, this is what I was looking for. Hold on a second. Do I have anything to equip? I doubt it. Mystic sword. Is there like a detailed description? There we go. Legendary blade that drank the blood of many lives taken by Reko's clan. I forgot the pronunciation they used. Rakos clan over the ages, it contains tremendous power. Cool. Magic? I have no spells. Accessories? I have no accessories. Well, maybe we should fix that. So let's go to the shop. I have been banished and drift alone in the void. You are but dust. Yet foolishly, I rest all my hopes on you. So I have 240 coins. I already have a weapon. Ooh, repair. I don't think it needs to be repaired. Um, no magic spells to buy. Well, that solves that question. Okay, belt of good omen. Jubo that raises defense. Well, that's handy. And it's the only thing to get. Um, high-ranking sorcerers would wear when visiting the court. The jewel on its tassel increases the ability to defend oneself. Must be some great defense, right? Well, let's buy it. Oh, we can't. We only have 240 and it's 1120. Yes, buy it. I don't have enough gold. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, are there any more weapons? I'm just curious. Okay, there are three. MP attack, MP defense, and just MP. Alright. Thick bladed sword with a rounded tip with its weight and magic power can slice through steel helmets. Durable and give high defense. That's pretty handy. So my sword sucks, in other words, and I need to buy a new one. Sort of a sorcerer who pr pursued magic power even after being labeled a heretic by the court. Excels attacking demons but prone to curses. Ooh. That sounds horrible. Why would I want that one? Oh, wait. 6800, 1980, and 1480. So this is probably the worst of the swords. Two-bladed halberd made of forged iron and used by an ancient warrior making use of centrifugal force. It can cut down enemies in a wide range. Well, that's pretty handy. You know, AoE attacks? I might want that one, and it's the cheapest, but I have no money. So, maybe I should repair. How much does it cost to repair? Uh, 7300 to repair. Goodness sakes, where's the durability bar? I'm not seeing it. Maybe they'll talk about it later. So, so I could go to the, the shop. One who hides his tears and punishes himself in silence. So I could go to the shop. I just can't buy anything. to cloak <laughs> his guilt from the eyes of others. Why give me the option of going to the shop when I can't even buy anything? <laughs>